you might need to replace the modem on your laptop. Now you know why. Fortunately, a lot of the newer laptop designs have made replacing the modem easier. Or it's just a single panel you open up right by the wireless card and you, you undo it, you're done. You just unscrew this guy. It looks like we have to take the shielding off to get to it, but we can't. And my fingers are too big to get her in there, and they're pretty skinny, so... All i got to say is, what idiot designed this? So, how do I get this guy out? Dental pick. Just go to each corner. Pull up on it just a little bit. Because the corners are pretty safe. You know that they're not going to put you know, a resistor right in the corner. Or diode or anything like that. So you just take the very corner. You just tiny, tiny bit of pressure. And it'll wiggle loose. Modem with its screws right beside it. We do have a screw right here. would appear to be holding the top half to the lower half. See how great your magnetized tips are? Magnetized. Now where does this screw? How are we going to mark this screw? That's a problem. Kind of getting into the royal pain in the rear mode. Okay, so we got that there, that there, and this. On the DV7000, I had to take these screws out. It appears to be that that is independent independent Can now take the CD drive out. Some of these you can take them out earlier, some of them you can't. This one, it looks like I have to do it a little bit later. Apparently, there's an extra expansion bay in here as well. Not sure what for. It looks about the same size as a hard drive, but I don't see any way of putting a hard drive in there. Not sure what that extra base for. That would be something to look up in the manual. But since we're not replacing extra bays or putting in extra bays, it's of no concern at the moment. So that can sit over there. So there's no screws under there. <laughs> One screw there. So this guy has to come out. I'm hoping it will be the same size as the other screw. 
which it's going to be longer. How nice of it. And it looks like I don't have to do that. So let me put this screw in relation to the other ones here. I'm going to go ahead and take out the three of the four screws. Here, one of the screws appears to hold in the motherboard. Seriously, if somebody else has a better idea for doing screw management than what I'm doing, let me know. Post a reply. Send an email to video at defcon-5.com. And you can tell me what kind of idiot I am for doing screws this way. And then I can laugh at your idea. Or we can just exchange verbal aggression. It's fine with me. It's no problem, man. No problem. And <laughs> definitely don't do it this way unless you got a steady hand. Eating this one screw here. So yeah, that's why I didn't take that one out. Now this comes up nice. That one's coming up nice. So trying to pull it up evenly. Oh, if there's any cables that even jerked or anything like that. I just have that one cable. Oh, that's the one that went right through the board. Was it? No. That was apparently another screw somewhere. I'll right, just set this guy on the floor here. Big, big piece that's not too hard to figure out. All right, here's a great example of why you want to make sure your screws are not too long. The screw hole would go directly into a graphics card. Graphics processor. <clears throat> so if you had too long of a screw, you just put a nice hole in the <laughs> graphics card. Good luck fixing that, buddy. See, that one holds in the board. This is for your touchpad. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that now. So it looks like I might be able to just simply remove this from here with just another panel remove. Some scotch tape. Yes, scotch tape. Use all this fancy shielding tape when they break down and start using scotch tape on some of these parts. Makes you wonder, did he just run out of stock? Did he get lazy? Did he just not?